the summer of 1967, <laughs> the summer of love, and San Francisco is filled with scandal. <laughs> There is a vermin infestation in the city of San Francisco. And why? The good people and the citizenry of San Francisco will not tolerate it. You hippie people, with your smell and your free love and your patchouli oil, go home. You, yeah. Peter Donaldson, San Francisco Chronicle. Uh, I'm wondering, what exactly are you going to do to get this influx of the youth off of the streets that are not concerned citizens? Those kids are good for nothing street vermin. Oh man. They <laughs> will be sent home summarily. <laughs> by my hippies are, I will appoint. They'll rule the day. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, Mr. You. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Who is this hippie czar you speak of? This hippie czar will be Officer Stamp out of the park station in the Hay Asbury. Yes, the, the park station. The park station. All right. <laughs> these, I urge you, these street urchins will be dealt with severely. In this election year of 1967. Hey man, that's not cool. You're not being cool. Man. Hey! That is all. Yeah. Needless to say, this announcement by the mayor declaring war on the hate community caused a, a large uproar. Uh, we now go to the free store there where we find Mr. Gene Swift and Darren the Fitzelman diver, and uh, they were just had seen the uh, the news conference and were discussing it. In fact, I was there in the room when they had a reaction to what they had just seen on on local television. Go there now. Tight, you know. Um, anyway, I found this shirt. If, if you said you wanted something a little bit more uh, hip and uh, well, I, lively, and uh, maybe that, maybe that'll do you. Well, I'd love to try it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I tried on a few things, so I'm a little ruffled up. 
So your, your reaction, Gene, uh, any reaction to what the mayor just said? Yeah. First of all, I thought he kind of hit the nail on the head in a way. How, how so? Yeah, what do you mean, Gene? I think we do need a hippies are. <laughs> Gene, I don't understand. I mean, like, he, he was saying that a hippie czar would be somebody who would crack down and make us go home. No, oh, no, a hippie czar wouldn't do that. A hippie czar would be cool. A hippie czar would give you, give you weed, man. Oh, I get it. It's like all these other things. We're going to turn czar up on its head and, like, take the high up and the establishment and make it our own. Exactly, man. We wow. take their ideas and twist them to make them right. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's a noble, noble thought, Gene, but uh, I, I think by the tone of the mayor, that this czar is someone, he said he was a policeman, if I recall, he said the, the officer of Stanton. Yeah, something from Park Station. We so, just need to have our own czar to compete with theirs. Well, uh, wow. I'd be interested to see how this is all gonna come to pass, Gene. Uh, I mean, the, so far, uh, he is, uh, he's, he's hassled you in, in, in the shop here, uh, right there. Remember, I, I was here when he, that, that officer came in. Look, yeah, you guys made fun shot. of my flyers idea, and now you're bagging on my czar hey, idea. Hey, no, it's just this, this Willie guy, man. I think it's a good idea. You know what? If, if you're going to observe and write stories, you know, don't get us down, okay? Uh, uh, right, dude, you're right. I'm sorry. I don't mean, I to, get, I don't mean to get heavy am, on you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm all out of my moment now. I just don't see why we can't have a czar. Well, well, who's the czar going to be, Gene? I, 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 I'd be the czar. <laughs> well, then, okay, then Gene's going to be the czar. Ha <laughs> ha! Hippie czar! All right, man, give us the skin. Yeah. And so it was that Gene self-appointed himself the hippie czar. Uh, what that meant, well, we really didn't know. I guess we would find out in the days to come. But meanwhile, uh, also in the hate, uh, established by the diggers was the free clinic. It was a clinic that was run by medical students who are volunteering their time. And so we go to the free clinic now, and we see two young ladies, one of Barbara Lynn and one Esther, who are attending the free clinic for the first time. Uh, on duty that night was one uh, Astrid. She, she apparently was a four-year medical student and uh, was working there, uh, working with the locals uh, giving them free medical attention. I want to do is 
put you on the pill. It's this new uh, kind of pills we have. All you My mama to do, told me about these. She said they're the devil's candy. All you have to do is take one of these pieces of devil's candy every day. See the days? Right every there? day? Once no day. woman is going to do that. <laughs> you won't get pregnant if you take these pills. Yeah, right. <laughs> How you feeling? I feel really groovy right now. You look really groovy, Barkerman. Oh my god, that's like the first nice thing you've ever said. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit. <laughs> it's okay, you, uh, you actually look sugar. good when you spit. I've got some sugar for you too, and if you want it, the next time when you come back, you're gonna have to pay. Do you understand? Whoa. Yeah. Do you guys see that monkey flying through the air? Not yet. It's amazing. But I hope too soon. Hey Astrid. Yeah, man. Uh, I've got a delivery in the back. I don't know if you want to check it out and make sure it's good. Um, hey ladies, but it's it's arrived, okay? All right. Listen, I'm gonna go in the back. You ladies feeling pretty good? Feel it yes. all right. Yes. You can just. Our Garfunkel. You can just do whatever you want to do. I'll be back in a few, all right? All right. Let's see how many of these we can pop all at once. They've got to give you some kind of pie. Why else would anyone take them? I don't know. They're burning my jock strap or my underwear. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you could if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, come join our little circle of fun. Hey, peace. Peace, man. This place free? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, every place is free around here. Yeah, it's a community park. It's like that. park, you can. Sleep here, you can crash here, you can make it here, you can pee over there. Anything you want to do, you can do it right here. Name's Mains. Hi. <laughs> I'm Eddie. How you doing? You hey. seem like a real nice fella. You seem like a nice fella. You do seem like a nice fella. Did you say, what did you say your name was? Manson? Mason. Oh, Mason. <laughs> Mason Charles. Oh. That's got kind of a ring to it. I'm Saffron. Hey, Saffron, you're a beautiful baby. You know, I'm looking for a family. God, you're mesmerizing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you beautiful flower, you're grown from the ground, grown straight up. Sunshine shining down on you, you're shining up on it. You see what I'm talking about? You hear what I'm saying? Oh, I'm getting that now. Wow, this guy's He's mesmerizing. He's amazing. <laughs> you know, I'm in the I'm in the hunt for a record myself. I just need some people to follow me. You want to make a record? Well, I got a guitar. All right. You want to sing a song? <laughs> I was hoping you would sing, but 
All right. Let's see song. what we got here. We could sing a song about, I don't know, the playground, or we could sing a song about new friends. We could sing a song about playground in the friendly confines of playground. It's called Playground. I came to the playground to see what I saw. I came to the playground to see what I saw. What I saw was a lovely little girl. What I see is a lovely little girl. with anything like this. My mom never thinks at all. Look at the heads floating in that water. We should jump. That's the best idea you've ever had. Okay, Ladies. let's jump. One. Ladies! Ah! <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> You're blazing! Mama. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. You're a fox. Come on down here. You could eat us. free love. I want hot free love. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? It's terrible. I, I had Saffron for some free love, and she started passing out brownies to squirrels and anything that moves. <laughs> oh, she so does not want my free love. Well, you know, Saffron and I, we kind of, we've been making it, you know? Oh. I didn't know you were exclusively making it. Well, I, I don't know either, but I'm kind of new to all this. Why maybe you, maybe why, it means we are. Why don't you ask her if she wants to make it, see what happens. Hey, Saffron. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. I, I gave out all the brownies you made. Basket's empty. Uh, hey. Wow, you're a special man. Hey, you're a special lady. Hey, so uh, I was wondering, um, so you, you wanna, you wanna go make it? <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, let's go. Wait, where are you? Oh, not right now? Well, no, I want to. Let's, let's go through this gate. All right. Hey, man, you know, there's free and there's free, right? Yeah. But keep giving out the brownies. I'll make it with somebody else. I want to make it with Saffron. Listen, I feel bad about this. Don't. Why don't you just draw straws? Oh, hey. Now we're getting pity makings. No thanks. <laughs> no, we'll just see who gets the longest straw. I got the longest straw. I feed with it. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I kind of want to see this. <laughs> and so he proceeded to show uh, that he had the longest straw. And she took them both back to her pad. Meanwhile, there in the, also in the park, we find one Mimi the mime. It was her custom of routine to uh, entertain the passers-by with uh, her special form of pantomime. Uh, we now see that uh, there now. I do. Wow, 
are you still tripping? Hey, I had mine after you. I like your flowers. Barbara Lynn, I, I've never said this to anybody, but... <laughs> never love me back. Oh, is that why you're so mean? Hey. It's her. It's the mine. Somebody's mean. Somebody angry. Hey, it's me. It's, no, it's a uh, big man. It's the man. It's the mayor. The mayor's uprooting, uprooting stripper poles and slicing them with oh. swords and javelins. Barbara Lynn and Esther were so mesmerized by the performance that they began to join her in this little mime show. <laughs> when I told them, I don't need you. You need me. <laughs> oh, man. That just blew my mind. Blows your mind, doesn't it? You know what, Max? I like the cut of your corn. You're a real cool cat, you know that? You know, Edward, I travel around this great country looking for the right family. Looking for the right Right hand man. Oh. Yeah, well, I've been to <clears throat> Arkansas, <clears throat> Louisiana, <clears throat> been to Texas. <clears throat> Hoping to meet a guy in Texas, but well, I'm here. That's kind of a weird situation. And you're here. I I'm here. You're lost, I'm lost. Oh. We're all lost in this crazy world. You can't even be found in this world. <laughs> can't find myself in this city. But you can find yourself right here, right now. This is your chance. If I told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? Yeah, I guess so. You would? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I... You wouldn't jump off that bridge. That bridge would jump out from under you. There's that feeling again. 
freeing your mind, right? Oh my god, I don't, I haven't even taken any drugs yet. You don't need drugs. Do you, you don't need drugs. How do you do this? It all comes from the inside, see? Man is created in God's image, and God created man in his own image to create himself. Because God is an egoist, and we are all his id. We're keeping God in check, see? So we're checking God by being ourselves. That's right, and it's checkmate for mankind. Oh, that's a chess! We're all pieces in this big game, but we're moving ourselves. You get where I'm coming from? You're the only person I actually understand in this city. See, I'm a shepherd. And this city here is my flock. Look at all them. The, <laughs> them's all your sheep down there. They're not just my sheep. They're yours too. And what I want to do is bring my shepherd close and keep them inside my reign. Well, I guess you need kind of like a sheepdog then. Or a sergeant at arms. Sorry. It was then that Mason turned and looked at Edward straight in the eye and said something that changed Edward's life forever. Zip zop, lib lop. Up, down, <laughs> up is down, up is wide. Wide is closed, closed is open, open is wide. See what I'm saying, boy? I see everything you are everything saying. I'm saying. somewhat but coming down from their acid trip. It was quite a scene. <laughs> They're staring off into forever. We did something today for the first time. Yeah? What did you do? I ate a sugar cube. It seems harmless I enough. I don't know what happened after that. There was it was made of and... LSD! Are you retarded? Oh, jeez, I did LSD? Yeah, you did oh. acid. You must have gone oh, my mom's gonna clinic. kill me! Oh my gosh, what have I done? Barbara Lynn, oh, your mom's no. not here! Your mom's what? not You're here! Not. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. hey, 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 hey! I don't want to be okay. here anymore! Oh. I don't know what's going oh, on! Why you just She's sit. having a bad trip. She's yeah. having a bad trip. Okay. She would have, have a bad trip. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all just right. Just uh, calm her down. It's well, always about Barbara Lynn, isn't it? She's so innocent. She's so wholesome. Let's take care of her. Well, some of us aren't innocent and we aren't wholesome, but they really need taken care of. Oh, wow. It was just then that Daryl had his hands full. He went over and tried to comfort uh, Esther. Well, I stood by Barbara Lynn and she just stared down, playing with her thumbs. <laughs> Well, love is free. We can give you some attention. Come. Oh, really? 
how, because I've already fucked half of this town. Well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of new to this whole free love thing. I, I thought it was all about sex. I guess maybe, maybe there's something more. I'm yeah, just... more than sex. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I've never been religious. And, and I don't know if, you know, like, God comes into this. I'm, I'm, I'm lost, Willie. Well, I'm you just not. I, I can't help you. All I'm doing is, I'm just an observer. But what I'm observing here is there are consequences to be paid. You're not an observer anymore, man. But I love you. You're part of us. Yeah, you got to stop standing on the outside and, and get on the inside. I'm pretty sure Barbara Lynn just said she loved you. I heard that. I did not de deny that I heard it. It's, it's just that... I've never said that before. I love you. Will you marry me? Uh, wow. Uh, well, Be inside, man. I, I'd love to say yes, but I look at your eyes and your the dark pupils are huge. And <laughs> hey, really? Don't yes, but. Yes, and. Yes, and. <laughs> uh, get, yes, I'll marry you, Barbara Lee. Well, yes. And? And I'll marry you, too. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're really getting way on the inside now, Willie. <laughs> <laughs>
Answer the first one. Yeah. The answer to the first one is the answer to all of them. That's right. The answer is yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I got something right. <laughs> you go, Willie. And yeah, tell Willie. him. Tell him what I told you on the mountaintop. It's the guys here. Beautiful children from San Francisco. We have found someone to herd us into one. We are all little lost sheep on drugs. That's accurate. We are lost sheep that are overdressed, overweight. We are all sheep. We need a place to go. We need to be reined in. We found a man to lead us. I ain't God. He's Jesus' God son. Is me. I am the son of the son. Jesus. He's our family. Mason, will you tell me what to do? Tell yourself what to do by asking me how to do it. Go. He's right. Go forward. And do what's inside of you. And don't question it, but always come back. I don't know what that means. You'll find out. He's right. Don't doubt yourself, because if you doubt yourself, you won't know who to blame. <laughs> as, was, as was customary during this time, we watched the sun set, some more taken by the newcomer, others still taken by the beauty of the sun. But this was an important day for many of the people who are here this day. For it would never be the same. It would never be the same. And as you will see in the weeks to come, some would not survive. <laughs> oh. 